Making instant noodles is kind of a big deal. I mean, you shouldn't be eating it every single day because it's not that healthy, but if you're going to do it, might as well do it right. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. The core with making good food, including ramen, is that you have different ingredients that takes different amounts of time to cook perfectly. It is your job to time it so that everything comes to the end and it, they're all perfectly cooked. I have several kinds of common ramen over here. Maruchan chicken flavor, this costs about 10 cents each. Sapporo Ichiban, this costs about 70 cents each. Nongshim Shin Ram Yoon, this is a popular Korean type of ramen. It costs about 99 cents each. Now all of these takes a different amount of time to cook. This one, three minutes, three minutes, and four to five minutes. Now first, we have to consider how well done you want your noodles. Do you want them a little bouncy or do you want them kind of towards the soggy side. I would say for Maruchan and Sapporo, if you cook it at the recommended three minutes, it's gonna taste slightly soggy, at least to me. So what I like to do is just cut it off at two and a half minutes. For Shin Ram Yoon, the noodles are a little bit thicker, so you do need the full five minutes in order to cook them. Now, the important thing here is to know what you like. Do you like it a little bit more chewy or a little bit soggy? So based on that, you increase it by maybe just 30 seconds or reduce it by 30 seconds only. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna concentrate on cooking the maruchan. Now we also wanna consider, are we gonna add an egg in there? Are we gonna add vegetables? Are we gonna add meat? For a medium sized egg, it would take roughly two minutes and 45 seconds in boiling water for it to come out soft boiled. So we work backwards from here, and then we go back two minutes and 45 seconds, which means we need to drop the egg in there 15 seconds before we drop in the noodles. Now, if you have cooked veggies, you probably wanna stick it in there maybe a minute before it's all done, just to warm up the veggies a little bit. If you have uncooked veggies, you might wanna put them in same time as the noodles. Typically, if I have spam or any kind of meat, I would also add it in right when I add in the noodles because I'm not gonna overcook them. Now, it becomes a little tricky. If you have some medium rare leftover steak and you wanna stick it inside your ramen, you want it to put it in so that it does not change the medium rare steak into a well done steak. You want to preserve the medium rareness of the steak and yet warm it up enough so that it's soft. I would say all you need is probably just to stick it in about 15 seconds before it's done. So this is how I would do it based on the different kind of ingredients left over that you have in the fridge and you can just toss it in at the right moment so that it all comes out perfectly done. This, by the way, is for a medium sized egg. If you happen to have a large or extra large egg, you might need to add 15 to 30 seconds before so that it would become done at the very end. Now, let me just mention things gets a little bit tricky for Shin Ram Yun Ramen. I've modified this whole chart for the Shin Ram Yun Ramen. You want everything to be completely done at the five minute mark. If you add the egg at the very beginning for Shin Ram Yoon, you're gonna end up with an egg that's hard boiled and maybe you don't like that, maybe you do like it. So it depends on your preferences. If you want to have a slightly gooey egg, well, you need to stick it in sometime after you put in the noodles. For a medium sized egg, you need to put it in one minute and 45 seconds after the noodles has been cooking for a little while. And if you want to be super fancy, of course, at the very end, you can add other kind of garnishments like you know green onion, chopped up green onion or things like that. So with all this said, let me just go and make a maruchan ramen now. We need two cups of water. Let it boil first. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open up this package. Typically, I feel like these noodles are a bit too long, so I like to split them in half. Like that. It's a little bit difficult to break them up in half this way. Uh, you can just break them in half this way, but then it's going to end up having uh, one quarter length noodles, two over here, and a half length noodle over here. That's why I like to split it um, the lengthwise like this. You can pre-prepare your chicken flavor packet by pre-opening it and then just kind of get it ready for when you're done. Put it over there. I also have some leftover pork and mushrooms. Now that it's boiling, I'm going to add in my egg first for just a short period of time, 15 seconds. You want to make sure you know where your egg is so that you don't pop it. Now we're ready to add in the noodles. So I know the egg is right there, so I try to not poke over there. I'm also going to add in my meat. Still monitoring it, the meat is over there. So now I set a timer for three minutes, but I'm going to take it out at two and a half. So a lot of people would be tempted to add in the flavoring packet right now, but what I find that is if you do that, um, it tends to kind of dye everything, including the egg over here. These tend to turn yellow if you add the flavoring packet 
uh, while it's cooking. So now I would rather just wait until the very end. When it's boiling, it's kind of hard to figure out where the egg went. So you gotta kind of monitoring it. I know, see, it's like right there right now. It's right there. And I'm just sticking my chopstick in here to try kind of break up the noodle so it will cook more evenly. It's almost done, actually. Well, if you really lost it, just try not to poke around in there and then so you won't pop the egg. 30 seconds to go. Okay, it's time. So now let me add in the flavoring packet. Just kind of mix in there. Also make sure the egg, you're not poking the egg so that it won't break. Now you can kind of make it a little bit more fancy by putting all the meats on top so that you have the noodles in the middle. So here's the soft boiled egg. By the way, if you guys are wondering what these little black hairs are, it's not hair, it's actually fungus. It's a type of fungus that's put in um, it just came with my leftovers. Try some of this ramen. Well, you know, ramen tastes like ramen. This is going to be um, slightly undercooked uh, and a little bit chewy. So let's see. Yep, slightly less. Yeah, I really don't like it when it's overcooked. Mm. And uh, well, this is uh, pig feet over here. <laughs> a little bit of meat. So you see, this egg is cooked in two minutes and 45 seconds. If it's a little bit bigger, well, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So you have to adjust things, you know, move things around by 15, 30 seconds only. It doesn't um, need to change all that much. Like a gooey. And I mean, this ramen is 10 cents. The egg is about 20 cents. So this is a really darn cheap meal, however, uh, you don't want to always eat this because if you look at the ingredients, it has a lot of random stuff I can't even pronounce. I took a little bit too long because I need to move the cameras and stuff. So the noodles actually got a little bit soggy. It soaked up a little bit of the water. So, you know, it's a little bit of a trade-off whenever I need to make a video while I'm eating something that that is very timely. Usually when I cook something, it's like you should eat it immediately or else it's not as good for some reason. Now, a lot of people know that the flavor packet isn't the best thing for you. So instead of drinking all that soup, a lot of people just choose to not drink it at all. You just pour off all of it as much as you can. And then you're left with, you know, the bits and pieces of the ramen at the bottom. So you don't have to drink that other stuff. And then you just kind of, you know, scoop up and just eat the rest of it. All done. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to give me a like, push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.